Japan. Here's your Bino Town weather forecast. Cloudy all week with a chance of clouds this weekend. Boring! It's the Bino Town Founders Day bonfire tomorrow, so get ready for the gravy toss, Pelta Vicar, and our famous Bino Town homemade jam off. More, more boring! And in breaking news, a mysterious bat creature was spotted yesterday in Bino Town Ooh, Park. Still boring! What? Bat creature? Awesome! Nasha, let's go! We gotta catch it! Dennis, you are not catching a bat. They're dangerous. But, Dad, it's not a bat. It's a bat creature. Sit and eat your breakfast. That's an order. What do you think, Nasha? <laughs> My thoughts exactly. We need to investigate. Now, if I was a bat creature, where would I hide? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> what is it, boy? <laughs> Bloody footprints! Bat creature! Nasha, you know what this means! There's a vampire in Beano Town! Pie face, you're the vampire expert. How do we catch it? Uh, according to issue number four of Lord Tim Vampire Destroyer, vampires only come out when the sun goes down, hate garlic, and can be destroyed with a stake through the heart. <laughs> hey! What about running water? Isn't that supposed to do something? Well, in issue number 12, Lord Tim melts a bunch of vampires in a jacuzzi by splashing them. Well, a jacuzzi might be hard to lug around, but splashing people with water... We can manage that! Water soakers full! Full! Oh. Now, the vampire could be anyone, so remember... Soak first, ask questions later. Let's get them! about that. Uh, we thought you were somebody else. Yeah, vampires! Vamp! Oh! You boys come here right now! Uh-oh! Run! <laughs> Guess the water didn't work. Those are tough vampires, eh? <laughs> I don't know about this vampire hunting thing. Where are you guys going? Mum wants me home early to help stir her gravy. For the gravy toss. She really wants to win this year. First prize is a hat made of potatoes. A potato hat? Come on, you can get one of those anywhere. <gasps> <gasps> is that...? Yeah, a coffin. What this means? The Colonel's the vampire! No! <gasps> Starch me civvies! Uh, um, uh, get him! <laughs> You've trespassed on private property. Explain yourselves. Well, uh, we, um, uh, I, uh. His parents want to. Invite you to dinner! Yeah, they... Want to what? Why would they want to do that? Uh, you know, to say thank you for keeping us all safe with the Neighbourhood Watch and for um, all your... all your great stories and um, clean clothes. Well, I have been out late these last few nights. You know, watching the Neighbourhood. Haven't had a good hot meal in days. 
Yeah, except for people. Great! So you'll come. See ya. Dinner with me parents? Terrific. What are you going to do, Dan? Don't panic. I've got an idea. Oh, I'll get one. <laughs> Hi, Mum. Hi, Dad. I invited the Colonel for dinner. Did he just say... Yes, thanks for the dinner invitation. When Dennis practically begged me to come, I was quite touched. He begged you? Our Dennis? Hope you're ready for a long night, because I'm a slow digester. Hi, Face. You said something earlier about garlic. In issue 425, Lord Tim defeats a bunch of Italian vampires by using their own pasta against them. Fresh bread! Get it while it's hot! <coughs> What's the matter? Don't you like garlic? <coughs> Order. Uh... Oh, no! Let me help you! Ah, get that away! Aha! Uh -huh. Don't like mirrors either! That settles it! Nasha, attack! <laughs> Dennis, what's got into you? Have you lost your mind? But, Mum, Dad, he's... A... March right over to the Colonel's and apologise! Now! We'll just have to show him ourselves. <laughs> there he is. Hello? I could use some help out here. Look. Right, sorry. Just cleaning up. Looks like we've got two to tackle then. I've got dibs on Walter. <laughs> <laughs> Potato hat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> All right, Nasha, you asked for it. Fit this. <laughs> Face, a big, mean looking fish. Oh, are we going fishing? Kind of, but if it was that easy, somebody else would have caught it by now. So, what are we going to do, Dennis? Listen and learn, Curly. Listen and learn. Up to. We're going to catch a fish. Not any old fish. The legendary pike of Beano Town Lake. Yeah, the legendary pike. Uh, pike. Legendary pike, eh? Walter, how does it feel to be the man who caught the legendary pike of Beano Town Lake? I just want to help science in any way I can. <laughs> When the pike comes to the edge of the lake, I'm going to tickle it like this. <laughs> Fish love it. It hypnotises them or something. I saw this man do it on TV. <laughs> and how are we going to get the pike over here? Here's the genius part. I've borrowed the fishmonger's sign and a bit of mum's makeup and... Ta-da! A lovely ladyfish. Have I overdone the lipstick? Here, fishy. Kissy, kissy. Here it comes. Means war. I thought the monster fish of Beano Town Lake was just a legend. Me too, Bertie. But Dennis claims to have seen it. We can't let that menace catch it. Exactly, Dudley. If anyone catches that fish, it's going to be me. I shall become famous as the boy who caught the legendary monster. <laughs> if this gull net can 
stop a cannonball kick. It should be strong enough to hold a pike. What are we going to use as bait? A clothes peg? Oh, not that. These! The, what? The stinky old fish? Very old, very stinky. <laughs> <laughs> right then, Nasha. You swim out there with the fish and we'll throw the net over the pike when he appears. <laughs> Go on, boy! Den? Oh, come off it, Curly. It's only a fish. Actually, I'm impressed. You know, it could be one of us. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that music coming from? Oh, no. Keep it up, chaps. Your soothing music will send the fish to sleep. And then... <laughs> hey, presto! The pike will be my ticket to fame and fortune. Fame and fortune? What's he talking about, Den? I reckon Walter's planning to put the pike on show. In an exhibition or something. Oh, no, that'll be terrible. Everyone gawping at him. I know, Curly. We've got to stop him. And I think I know the way to do it. Come to me, my fishy friend. <laughs> oh, ha! Here he comes. Uh, keep playing, boys. This is one drowsy fish. Uh, okay. Uh, hold steady. Uh, heave -ho! What is that? You wouldn't want that in your exhibition. <laughs> here, over here. Here's your legendary pike. Come and get her. <laughs> hey, that's not a pike. It's not even a real fish. We've been tricked. <laughs> you bossa! We thought there really was a fish. I knew it was too good to be true. I'm going to tell the fishmonger you took his sign. <sighs> the legendary pike of Beano Town Lake can remain a legend. Come on, lads! <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm glad we didn't catch him. <laughs> and now we 
go live to Beano Town Park Racecourse for the afternoon's racing. Hussy! Hussy! There! Yes, Bee, it's a horsey! <laughs> Why don't you go and play in the garden with your hobby horse? Dennis will help you. Dennis! Percy? And here's Dennis. One shot away from glory. What do you think of that, B? <laughs> and don't bring her back until you've made it up to her and she's calmed down. <laughs> Gran, what's all that crying about then? I could hear you a mile away. I broke Bee's hobby horse and I'm trying to find her a new one. Oh, well, that's all right then, isn't it? Oh, what's all that fuss about, eh? Poor little Bee. Oh, she is in a mood. That's because nobody's got any hobby horses. We've been walking round the shops for hours. And Dad says I can't bring her back until she's calmed down. Dear me, you are in a pickle. What are you going to do? I don't know. Ah! Huh? Hang on. I've been thinking. Uh, riding hobby horses is really for little babies. Baby? Yes. And you're a big girl, aren't you? How would you like to ride on a real horse instead? Real horses? Gran, can you look after B? I've got a plan. Horsey. Any minute now, love. Dennis is just bringing him. Why do we have to do this? Cos we're mates, Curly. And mates help each other out, right? <laughs> now, remember, you've got to convince her you're a real horse. So no talking or mucking about, OK? OK. <gasps> Horsey! Horsey! That's right! Told you I'd get you one. Uh, nay! <laughs> B! No! Horsey, eat! Oi! <laughs> hey, what you doing letting that child fill up all this grass, eh? And who said you could bring that animal in here? Come on, Parky! Anyone can see it's not a real one. Real horsey! All of you! Out of the park! <coughs> oh, this is a stupid idea, Dennis. What's in it for us, anyway? Come on, Curly. We're making B happy. What could be better than that? How about a pie? OK, let's just give her a ride and you can have any pie you want. OK? Now wait here while I go and get her. Oh, oh yum. Pie face? Where are we going? OK. Angle of inclination, seven degrees. Wind speed, about three knots south southwesterly. Very good, Father. Stand aside, please. Uh, uh. 
Oh, Father, you must take more care. Where are Horse with him, has he? Okay, I'll uh, I'll keep a sharp lookout. Oi! <laughs> right. before we get into any more trouble. Well, see. <laughs> Hang on a minute, love. I'll just go and see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never mind, Dennis. You did your best. But what am I going to do about B? I I still can't take her home. <gasps> B! Horses and riders allowed through this entrance. But my little sister's in there. You've got to let me through. You think I'm stupid or something? Now either show me your horse or I'm going to have a word with that policeman. OK, Gran. Let's get the horse. <laughs> So, here they are, under starter's orders for the final race of the day, the Beano Town Classic. And they're off with the favourite moving straight to the front, ridden by... Oh, 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 there seemed to be a change of ride at times. Heavens! I know jockeys are small, but that one's absolutely tiny. Ooh, can't be much bigger than B. <laughs> Wait a minute! That is B! And that's Dennis! Hang on, B! We're coming! Wheelie Gran! Now, there's something very strange going on here because I don't recognise that horse at all. And now there's a police car. What an extraordinary race this is! Faster Gran! And now there's a dog on the track. Yes! <laughs> And as they approach the final fence, they're neck and neck. It's anybody's race. I'm here, <laughs> Faster, Grand! Side. At least B was happy, even if we did have to sell the car to pay for the damage. I don't know. I don't miss it that much. And think of the money we're saving by not having one. You all right in there, Dennis? Yes. And you, Gran? Yes. Jolly good. Off we go, then. Giddy up! Hey, <laughs> Bring me 
down. Elevator to the oh. world! Hang on, what's this? Sold out? The Rat Bucket concert? It can't be sold out! Not anymore! <laughs> It's sold out. You let them in? But it was sold out, then it wasn't, now it is again. OK. Oh, but it took us weeks to get the money. Yeah, it's hard work washing all those cars. I'm having to dirty them up first. <laughs> come on, I've got a plan. We didn't want to come in anyway. Huh? I thought we did. <laughs> we have come to cook fuzzy rockstar. Oh, straight through on your left. Yeah, result. Oh, am I glad to see you. Right, I need all this food picked up for the after-show party. But I'll let you back in when the concert's over, OK? Oh, through there. Is that Rat Bucket's legendary 25-string guitar? Oh, can I see? Oh. <laughs> Out! And don't come back! OK, not a tunnel, but, uh... Hey, you know the way sheep get everywhere? Well, if we got ourselves some giant sheepskins... Parky's on to us. We need something he can't argue with. Like I say, a sheep. Hello, boys. Look what I've got. Oh, hi, Athena. Two VIP backstage passes. It pays to be Rat Bucket's daughter. Well, if you've got two, who's the other one for? Miss Miniwoof, of course. Because she's a special wiggle person who likes her own special wiggle part. <laughs> anyway, must fly. Can't miss a minute. <laughs> See you, boys. One backstage pass, three people, and a dog. <gasps> yeah, that'll work. <laughs> wow! So this is backstage. Maybe we'll meet Rat Bucket. Calling feet, calling feet. Turn left. Left pie face. Pie face! Leave the food alone! to keep the strength up, Dan. <laughs> You're really heavy. We're trying to get to a concert, remember? Ooh, he looks like someone important. <laughs> Hi. Ah! I'm Athena, my dad's rat bucket. Oh, uh, Hi, Athena. <laughs> ah! No, 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 darling. It's not polite. <laughs> oh, my tummy rumbling. I need to eat. Uh, right. Have a sausage. <laughs> oh, gross! <laughs> Great. Now we're a tall bloke with a dog's head. Huh, very convincing. That. You made it. Whoa, like the new hair. Quick, Nasher, take these! <gasps> Rat Bucket, our local celebrity. Can I have your autograph? Uh, my wife's a great fan. Um, uh, uh, yes, you can. Sure, I'll sign this. 
this piece of paper with my left hand. Oh, thank you. Now I need to go to my dressing room to, uh, dress. Wow! This is the real thing. Just... Just a minute. <laughs> the crowd's been waiting quite a long time, that. I'd like some more food first. Oh, OK. Those pies are nice. You OK, Rat? Your voice sounds a bit... Something for your throat? Uh, no pies would be good. <laughs> oh, we haven't got time for pies, Pie Face. we got to get out of here. Hang on. <laughs> Daddy, hi. Hmm? I'm hungry. I need you to buy me some caviar. <laughs> That's not very polite. Just when Daddy's going to give us some money. Aren't you, Daddy? <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> Athena's talking. Oh, Daddy, can we go Athena have <laughs> some money? Please? <laughs> so, that's a no then, is it? But you always give me money. You're needed on stage, Rat. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, but I'm the real Rat Bucket. I was delayed, man. Get my daughter, Athena. She'll tell you. Huh. She's the one who told us there was an imposter about. <laughs> real Rat Bucket. I spotted you a mile off, mate. You're not tall enough for a start. The band haven't turned up. You're gonna have to do a solo gig. Sir, uh, uh, just caught the imposter. Uh, of course, he didn't have your star quality. That's him, is it? I'll give him a piece of my mind. How dare you? I'm sorry, Mr. Ratbucket. It was stupid to pretend we were you. Consider yourself lucky I don't sue you. I'll tell you what, if you can get me in, you can be my personal guests for the gig. Oh, there you go, Mr. Rat Bucket, sir. He's oh, even taller than I thought. And then they pelted us with fruit. Oh, I love it when they do that. <laughs> <gasps> now, where's my band? They haven't turned up. Oh, man, they're always doing that. Hey, you don't know anyone who happens to play, do you? Uh, we play, but we're not very good. We know all your albums. Uh, but we can't sing. Yeah, everyone thinks we're rubbish, but we're really loud. Hang on, not very good. Can't sing. Really loud. Sounds perfect. <laughs> Hello, Beano Town! Please welcome Beano Town's loudest band, the Din Makers! <laughs>
underdog will perform their most daring stunt. A leap across Devil's Gulch. Yes! A perfect takeoff and a perfect... <laughs> ...landing. Oh! Oh! Nasha, where are you? With that, Nash has already got a kennel, thanks. For your information, this is a hutch. Shows how much you know about pets. Oh, come through, Walter. Oh, this is so exciting. <coughs> this is Walter's new pet, Dennis. He's a black Flemish giant. Huh. Looks more like a rabbit. We're looking after him for a few days while Walter's away. <coughs> Remember, he's very highly strung. No loud noises or sudden movements. He must have absolute quiet. He looks like a big bowl of fluff. What's his name, anyway? If you must address him, his pedigree name is Louis-Pierre Sebastien Lefleur III. Nah, we'll just call him Fluff. <laughs> Don't worry, Walter. We'll look after him. I used to breed rabbits when I was a girl. We'll give him lots of lettuce. No treats. These pellets will provide him with all the vitamins and minerals he needs to keep his fur silky and soft. Nice and fluffy, you mean? Au revoir, Louis-Pierre. Be brave. Mwah. Mwah. I reckon Walter's rabbit looks a bit lonely stuck in that cage. You're right there, Den. It's a dog's life. Uh, being a rabbit. What he needs is a bit of company. Come on, Nasha. Are you sure, Dan? Your mum said we weren't to... Come off it, Curly. I'm great with pets. Just look at Nasha, the best kept dog in the world. <laughs> Come on, Fluff. We don't bite. Problem, Mum. Watch this. Nasha! Hey, boy! Nasha! Nasha, stop! <laughs> yes, these lettuces are coming along nicely. Nothing like a crisp bit of lettuce with your ra rabbit. Why, all that's khaki! I'll teach you to eat my prize vegetables! Colonel, have you seen a big black rabbit? <sighs> Don't worry, madam. I've hunted bigger game in my time. Never seen an animal I couldn't bag with this little beauty! <gasps> no! Oh, my. Curly! Pie face! See anything? Yes! Good! Where's Fluff? Not Fluff. Walter! Walter? What's he doing back here? Walter, what are you doing back here? Pie face! Listen, I'll go and help Dennis. You keep Walter occupied. Huh? Me? Gotcha! <gasps> oh, Colonel, thank goodness. Well done, Colonel. Yeah, nothing to it. Got to watch these blighters, though. Vicious bite, some of them. Uh, Mum? <coughs> oh, no! And this one's cherry. Nice, eh? Hmm. But this one. Oh, she's my favourite. Apple and blackberry with a sweet pastry crust. Strange hobby, photographing pies. My other hobby is eating them. Do you want to see some more? <clears throat> yes, well, what do you expect? Look at him. Same colour and everything. You've done it this time, Dennis. If Walter finds out... He's not going to, Mum. The Colonel's just given me an idea. I have? What's that? Nasha, you're my closest friend, aren't you? <laughs> and a friend in need is a friend indeed, right? <laughs> 
You've got to help me out of this mess. It'll be worth it. I promise. You see, I've had this idea for you. You know how you absolutely... <laughs> That's agreed then, Mum. Nasha's having a makeover. I must say, you do look the part, Nasha. <laughs> now then, remember, quiet as a mouse. I mean, a rabbit. Here, Nasha. Keep these out of sight. <laughs> oh, Walter, I thought you'd gone. I forgot my Wellingtons. Is everything all right? Yes, of course. <laughs> What's all the barking? Oh, uh, Nash is not quite himself today. Well, that's good. Because his normal self is revolting. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, Dennis, uh, there he goes now. Yes, I'll uh, hop after him. Fluff, I mean, Nasher, here, boy. Oh, look at my glasses. Right, I'm going to see if Louis Pierre is okay before anything else happens. Oh, uh, um, <laughs> oh there's no need. <laughs> They went behind the shed. Good. There's no escape. Leave it to me. Got you! Look like an oversized rodent to you, do I, lad? No. Sorry, Colonel. Poor thing. He must be tired out. Hmm. He shouldn't be. I only just fed him his vitamins. Louis Pierre, what have you got there? Oh, my sausages. That's where they went. Oh. Uh, 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 give them to me. Silly rabbit. Goodness, he's not usually so aggressive. <laughs> Wait a minute, Jane. Look! Hold on, Fluff. We'll save you. I'm very disappointed in you, Louis Pierre. But I suppose if you're still hungry, you can have a delicious biscuit. <laughs> it's your favourite. Seaweed and spinach. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Dave. He's heading for that tree. <laughs> It's a job for Nasha. Yuck! Bad rabbit! Bad boy! <laughs> Pierre! I didn't mean it! Come back! Fluff! <laughs> Jump! And Nasha. Oh, you found him! You found Louis Pierre! Yes, it was nothing really. And it looks like Nasha helped. Of course. He's an Abyssinian wire head tripound, the smartest dog in the world. Wait a minute. What's wrong with his tail? It looks all fluffy. Aha! Uh -huh. That explains the sausages. You let Louis Pierre escape! We thought he might need some exercise. Good. Well, no harm done, eh? No harm done? Look at him. He's traumatised. Oh, come on, Louis Pierre, mon ami. A bowl of fibre rich soya pellets for you, followed by a nice long rest. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dan. I think he likes. 